University of Mumbai, MCOM SEM4, Corporate Financial Accounting. We are doing question bank solution, topic valuation of business, problem number 7. So today we are going to, so this is your problem number 5. Calculate the instruct value and yield value of equity share of the company, assuming that the fair return on investment in the company doing similar business is 15%. You have a liability and asset side. In liability, you have 4,000, 8% reference share of rupees 100 each, that is 4 lakh. Then you have 4,000 equity share of rupees 10 each, that is 4 lakh. General reserve, then you have a creditor, provision for depreciation, provision for taxation, and proposed dividend. Okay, so among these uh, all uh, liabilities, general reserve, equity shares, preference shares are your internal liabilities and your external liabilities are creditor, provision for depreciation, provision for taxation and proposed dividend. In asset side, building, machinery, furniture, stock in trade, debtor, cash and bank balance and deferred advertising expenses are given. So among this, from the asset side, we are going, we are not going to take deferred advertising expenses. We are on, we are going to take building, machinery, furniture, stock in trade, debtors, and cash and bank balance. Here, no extra uh, info is given in this problem sum regarding the revaluation of the asset. So whatever asset we are going to consider is at the book value. For the liability side also, we are going to take it at the book value. Then net profit of the last three year is given from 2018 till to 20, uh, 2021 okay so let's solve this uh, sum now let's see the solution now we are going to solve this problem sum in a first uh, in, in, in strict value of equity share of the company we will solve it in the two steps so you just have to remember at this two step for solving your problem sum of in strict value of equity share of the company then in the next sum when you are where you are going to uh, when you are going to solve uh, yield uh, value of equity share we have a three steps so first we'll uh, do in strict value of equity share of the company so step one you will calculate the amount available to equity share holders so this is our first step which you already done in the last problem sums so here the asset at market value so we will take land and building, plant and machinery, furniture, stock in trade, debtors, cash and bank. Okay, so total here is 15,70,000. The total of all these assets is 15,70,000. You can use your cal calculator and you can solve the problem sum with me. So it will be easy for you to understand. Then you will list all the external liabilities. Okay, so preferent dividend, equity shareholder, reserve and surplus, all these are internal liabilities which we are not going to take. We are only going to take the external liabilities. So we are going to consider creditor, provision for depreciation, provision for or, uh, taxation, proposed dividend. So the total of the of these four liabilities comes comes to mm, 70 uh, 7 lakh 30 thousand. Okay, so when we are going to deduct this okay when you are going to list you are going to get the amount you are going to get the amount 8 lakh 40 thousand okay so by deducting 15 lakh 70 thousand that is your uh, assets and less liabilities that is 7 lakh 30 thousand you are going to get the amount 8 lakh 40 thousand less you have to uh, minus or you have to deduct paid up share capital so your paid up share capital is 4 lakh as given in the problem sum you can see the problem sum 8 percent preference share of rupees 100 each is 4 lakhs okay so you will minus that from 8 lakh 40 thousand therefore the net amount available to equity shareholder is 4 lakh 40 thousand then in the next step you are going to calculate calculation of in strict value of equity share so value of in strict, equity, in strict equity share equals to amount available to equity shareholder divided by number of equity share. Okay, so this is the formula for calculation of a in strict value of equity share. So amount available we have 4,40,000 divided by number of equity share. So number of equity share, if you see in the problem sum, it is given as a 40. So there is 40,000 equity share. So we are going to take that amount available to equity share of 44,000, 40, 40, divided by 40,000. So you will get your answer 11 per share. Okay, so it is rupees 11 per share.
this so the value per share under the net asset method is rupees 11 per share okay so this is your calculation of in strict value of equity share so this is how you get you get you, you have got your answer of in strict value of equity share uh, for there are two steps in step number two or one you will calculate the amount available for equity shareholder then using the formula of calculation of in strict value of equity share that is amount available to equity shareholder divided by number of equity share this is very very easy so you just have to put the amount and then you will get your answer so next we will do uh, end uh, value of equity share okay so with the uh, end value of equity share of the company we are going to consider three step means we have to do the calculation by taking uh, three step the step number one is calculation of fmp that is future maintainable profit then you have to calculate the rate of future maintainable profit and third is calculation of l value of equity share so it's very easy to remember actually first you have to calculate fmp then you have to calculate the rate of fmp and then your answer what you have to go to calculate is the yield value of equity share so your the f uh, calculation of fm or the step of uh, FM is uh, different from what we are going to uh, have done for the goodwill but here we are calculating the uh, yield value of equity share and the formula for the same is FMP equal to FMP after tax minus preference dividend minus transfer to reserve. So your FMP after tax you have to take then minus preference dividend minus transfer to reserve. Okay. So in the problem sum we have a preference dividend but uh, uh, we have not uh, we don't have a transfer to reserve so it will come zero or we can consider it as a need. So FMP is nothing but the average profit. Here in the problem sum they have given the net profit for three years. From that we are going to calculate the average profit. So average profit equals to total total profit divided by number of year so total profit is uh, if you take of 2018-19 is 30,000 uh, 30, uh, yeah, 30, uh, 30, uh, 3 lakh uh, 5 thousand then we have 4 lakh 50 thousand for 2019-20 then we have 2021 5 lakh 60 thousand then you will divide it in the number of year okay then the total of this will come 13 lakh 50 thousand 15,000 divided by 3. So your amount average profit which you are going to get is rupees 4 lakh 38,333 uh, 38, is your average profit. Okay. So profit after taxation is 4 lakh 38,333. Then, then you have to use the FM formula. FMP equals to to after taxation minus preference dividend minus transfer to reserve. So FMP what we are is good is 4 lakh 38,333 minus 32,000 that is preference share you can see in the problem sum they have given 8% preference share okay so if they have given the amount um, total amount rupees is 4 lakh so 4 lakh you have to take it as 8% so 4 lakh 88% is 32,000 minus 0 okay so uh, this you can uh, do it in the working road so working note you can write in the problem sum and here there in the working note you can mention this for the uh, 8% preference share of uh, rupees 100 is that is uh, for 4 lakh 8 percent that is 32,000 so here in this way we got our preference dividend minus transfer to reserve is not given so we'll take it zero so fmp what we are going to get is 4 lakh 6333 okay so future maintainable profit is 4 lakh 6 6333 then we will move to our second step that is calculation of rate of future maintainable profit so rate of future maintainable profit equals to fm P, which we have just now calculated in step number one divided by paid up equity share up cap share capital okay into 100 so we have a paid up capital of 4 lakh okay so fmp is 4 lakh 6333 divided by 4 lakh into 100 okay so rate of future maintainable profit is 
101.583. So rate of future maintainable profit is one rupees 101.583 is your rate of uh, not rupees it is a rate of future maintainable profit. So your rate is 101.583 which we are going to uh, use or we, we are going to need it to, for the calculation of a yield value of equity share. So formula for calculation of yield value of equity share equal to rate of FMP divided by normal rate of return into amount paid per share. So you know amount paid per share it is given that 40,000 equity share of rupees 10. So amount paid per share is 10. And yield value of share what which we have calculated just now is 101.583 you will write it then you will divide it with nr and rr which is given in your problem sum at the beginning of your problem sum only it is given that fair rate of return in the company doing similar business is 15 percent so your normal rate of return is 15 percent so 101.583 divided by 15 into 10 you will get your in strict value of equity share that is 67.722 so rupees 67.72 is your answer for the yield value of equity share so this is your solution for the problem sum number five first you are going to calculate your uh, in strict value in the two, uh, two step you will then you have to calculate your yield value of equity share using this three step so this was this was your solution for problem number seven for the next problem seven, you please prefer subscribing and click on notification bell icon thank you